Hello boys and girls, welcome back uh, to part four. So, the great sticking together. So way back in section two, I assembled the, the engine, but I left it like that and painted the two parts of the cowl. So when it came to fitting it together, it got a little bit tight. Um, so I had to clamp it together, like you can see. These parts fit together fine. That's not the problem. The very slight gaps, I'm just closing out, but that, that's okay. But getting the engine in, it's a tight fit, and it seems to be around the outside of the cylinders. You've got three little cutouts that locate on pegs inside the cowl. Um, that seemed really, really tight. So I've had to sort of sand down not only the ones with the cutouts, but all the edges of the cylinders to slide it in. Then the tips of D6, whatever that is, I don't know. Um, they were also catching. So looking inside there, you can see just about, hopefully, the light catches it. You can see the pairs of exhaust pipes off of each cylinder. Um, and those, what I've got in silver, come on focus. Um, they have to fit in between. So I had to sort of go along with a cocktail stick and tweak them to sort of ping in between each pair of exhausts, um, which wasn't too bad. But then it, it, even though everything's all closed up nicely, when you put the, I've just pulled this off. This is the final two bits, those two, and they go on the back. That is supposed to be flush up against the, the cowl, sort of like that, but it's sticking out. So what I'm gonna have to do once this is dry is sand a bit off of this inner ring here. Um, sorry, the outer part of that. Uh, this bit here to sand that down so this sits further down so it's probably my mistake I've probably not quite clipped something in the right place but I can't see what it was so it's just one of those little niggly things not not a major problem just uh. so I shall leave that to dry overnight so it's not gonna force itself apart when I take the clamps off Right, what's next? Okay, just going back through the instructions really. So that's all done now. I've done the machine gun, which is here, but I'm gonna put that on a bit later. Other than that, everything else is done. Number two, that's the engine just talked about. Number three, that's done. Tail's done. Fuel tank, all them bits are in. Uh, I haven't quite got to the stage where I fit those on yet. Uh, I could do that now, I suppose. Yeah, I think I might do that in a second. This, uh, I haven't done the tail wheel or painted the arrestor hook yet, um, but they can go on any point. And that is, so the engine will go on once that's done. That's on the, bleh. not sure if I showed that just now, so I'll do it again. So the engine will go on once that's done. That's on, that's on. The canopy I've painted, I'll put that, I've still got the masking tape on the, on there at the minute, so I'll take that off in a sec. These two little things are painted so they can go on. Torpedoes done, so I can just as assemble that to that and then fit that. Uh, this bit's done, just got to go on. That's if you're doing a folded wing. Yeah, that's assembled. So that's got to be done yet. I've got to fit that on there. There's a few little bits here. The wings, I've assembled both the uppers because that's just 
two parts, that's it, dead simple. And the bottom, I'd forgotten to paint the, the bottom of the, the spotlights, I suppose, isn't it? Um, so I'm just waiting for those to dry, then I can fit that. And then what I was gonna do was just paint the front of it with a bit of chrome pen, just so it sort of looks a bit more like a light. Uh, then I've got to assemble each, each pair of wings. That's the same for the other side. Then there's a load of PE to go in. Then the undercarriage goes on. But I'm thinking I might do that a little bit sooner just so I can stand it up a bit easier. Um, yeah, I can assemble that in a minute. That's a little a simple job. Uh, then we're nearing the end. That's the final bit. Just put the torpedo, a couple of little bits on the wing and the propeller on. So, looking at the bench, there's loads of bits scattered around, but it's all coming together now. Right, a bit more gluing. So, it's following evening. As you can see, I've got the engine on. Um, all I had to do was shave a little bit off of Yeah, shaved that inner ring off that and then it all kind of just squeezed up enough to fit it in. Um, then what else have I done? So that's on. Yeah, the these messy bits of filler. So around the outside of the cockpit are these sort of leather padded bits that sort of protect you. On the plastic, it's just like a thin square molding. Doesn't really look like it. So I've just blobbed a load of filler on it and then I'll, once, so tomorrow once that's dry, I'll sand it down slightly and make it look a bit rounder. So hopefully that will look about right. Um, the rigging arrived today. So I'll have a little play with that later. Just have a bit of practice sort of stretching it between two bits of sprue or something. See if I can get the hang of that. Um, yeah. Uh, it was suggested by John who sent me this kit. Um, try putting the figures in around the other way. So this guy's standing up in here. But unfortunately, because the stall's in there, there's not enough room for his great big hooves. So he, I can't have him standing up. So he's gonna have to go back there and look jaunty. Which, yeah. But in amongst Sarah's bits and bobs um, that she bought the other day, was a set of German soldiers, and one of them had, where is it? Some binoculars, and she didn't need them. So a little tiny set of binoculars. I was giving them a little bit of paint. I'll dab a little bit of silver on the end or something. And they fit in this chap's hand, just nice. Um, so once that's dry, I'll stick that in there. And then at least he's got some, some reason to be waving his arm around in the air. Because he's waving his binoculars. I'm guessing they'd have had a set of binoculars, wouldn't they? Sort of observing. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, so... What's left? Um, oh yeah, I've touched that in. I did that in the interior. Oh, excuse me. I touched that in in the exterior green because when I originally painted it, I did it on the interior. It's a little bit lighter, so just evened that up. Um, painted the machine gun black because I, I didn't mask it, so I just sprayed over it when I did the top. Um, oh, I took the masking off of the, the windows and this one started coming out. So I had to poke a cocktail stick in through the bottom to hold it and put a bit more glue on. So hopefully that will keep it in place. Um, that's about it. So, onwards.
Okay, okay, so in an effort to cover up those horrible little black marks, I've gone for weathering it and probably gone a bit over the top. It's one of the lower wings. So what I used was this stuff, which I've used before. And you slap it all on with a paintbrush, wait till it dries and then wipe it off with a damp cloth or sponge or kitchen roll until you're happy with what's left. Uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit heavy, or quite a bit heavy, but I really, really like the result. So, yeah, this one's had a hard life. I wasn't gonna go mad with the weathering on this, but now I've done it, I decided to stop there rather than take any more off. So I just kind of like the look. Uh, <clears throat> One other thing, uh, I mentioned about doing the rigging. I was gonna, I know I keep saying that I'm gonna start gluing it together, but before I get the wings in, because they're big and heavy and gonna be in the way, I, I thought I'd get that rigging done. So I'm just gonna get the tail on and then see if I can do all that rigging, because there's some PE rigging stuff to go in there as well. So I'll get that done first. You know, sometimes things go a bit wrong and other times things go a lot better than you thought. Well, this is one of the second. So this stuff, this rigging stuff, there you go, you can see the size, is from Infini model, model. Pound shop, pack of 10 glue, just the cheapy, cheapy stuff, no accelerator. And it was just a little dab of the cocktail stick on this end cut the stringy bits slightly short you know probably two-thirds the length it needs to be and then a dab of super glue on the other end 10-15 seconds done I'm well chuffed with that I think the hardest part was finding a picture of which one goes where I think I've got it around the right way all I need to do now is find a pair of scissors sharp enough to cut through it at the end there but uh, that's for tidying up later. Well chuffed. Absolutely love that. Um, need to do something about this. It's a bit too black. So I'll run a bit of dirt down it just to tone it down. But yeah, really, really impressed. And uh, same on the other side. Yay! Something went right. <laughs> so on the tail section, is these PE bits, which fit into that little slot there, and then two little holes up here. But I found they were very slightly too long, um, which meant that they were kind of bending. So I thought, well, why not use this rigging stuff? So I plopped a bit of that in there, and that seems to do, do the job nicely. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this rigging gear. Now I'm thinking maybe I should have done the uh, the wings with it as well. Mm. Um, it's a bit on the shiny black side. Obviously it should be sort of dirty cable. So I've just tried putting a little dab of panel liner on it. This stuff. <clears throat> Try and, because hopefully this sort of, I can just dab it on and let it trickle down. So it's lightened it a little bit. I've also managed to splash it all over the tail there. Mm. Well, I need to put a little bit more mud on it. Because <laughs> that's what it needs, isn't it? It needs more mud. Oh dear. So, started assembling the wings. <clears throat> so, top and bottom, top and bottom of the top and the bottom wings. These bits of PE went on fine and the lamp went in fine. Um, so you've got the outer clear part and there's a small sort of lens inside it. And I just put a dab of um, chrome paint behind that. That was fine. Uh, I moved on to this bit. So I had to open up the holes a little bit that to fit in because where I've painted it it's kind of 
closed it up. So I just had to make that a little bit bigger to fit those in top and bottom. These sections went on fine and these bits of PE went in okay. Um, but turning over the page, so you've got five, so there's two bits of bracing wire there and then another three here. And when I came to put those on, I only got as far as doing those two. And so all you do is you make a little bend at each end and they fit into little slots. But I found they were too long, um, unless I sort of twisted the wings a little bit and then one would fit and then the other one would bow. So whichever way around I did it, it kind of didn't work. And I thought, well, if, that, if that's the case with those two, then with another three, I'm going to end up in a right mess. So I thought, well, as I'm enjoying doing the rigging stuff, I'll do that instead. So, and looking at some videos of the real aircraft, this looks more to scale. So you can just about make it out, I think. Um, yeah, really easy. Blob of super glue, stretch it, hold it for about 15 seconds, job done. I think that looks better than great big lumps of PE on there. Um, now there is a section that goes between the front and front and rear bits of rigging. It's easier to show you on the instructions. So here, um, this one here, PE 21 plus 21. So you have two bits and glue them together and then that sits on top of these bits here. Well, instead of it now being flat bits of PE, I've now got round little wires. And also this is now like a kind of, well, I'll show you the part. This is, this is one, and then you get another one of these and glue it back to back. Uh, you can see it's sort of flat. So trying to get that to stick, whoops, vertically on top of four bits of rigging wasn't gonna happen. And again, looking at a video, this wasn't a flat thing, at least not on all of them. It was like a, a rod, like a cylindrical rod went front to back. So I've raided the spare parts. I found this, which is I mean, slightly warped, but I'll be okay when I've finished with it. So I'm going to cut it in half, <clears throat> take these ends off, just round the ends off slightly and put a couple of little grooves in and then drop that onto the, the rigging. And I think that will look more realistic than the, the PE. Um, and certainly be a bit easier. Uh, what else? Oh, just, I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier. I think I mentioned it, but I didn't show it. It's so the, these leather pads that go around the cockpit. So I'm quite pleased with them. They turned out all right. Um, yeah, this section, I put that on last night. So this is one complete piece. And then you've got this bit that fits on the back has two legs that fit just in front of the, the windscreen. Then there's these curvy bits, two of those, plus two bits of PE, and you've got to fit them all in and drop it down at the same time. Uh, it, all, it all fitted, oops, it all fitted okay. There wasn't any problems, it was just getting it all to line up at the same time. But, uh, yeah, it's starting to look like a swordfish now. Uh, yeah, my only concern, mind you, having, having said that, so my worry was with constructing these, is it going to fit nicely on onto, the, onto there when the time comes? Having done the rigging with the elastic -y stuff, even if I have to twist this a little bit to get it to fit, it won't matter now because they're not going to bow. They're just going to shrink or stretch to whatever shape it needs to be. So I think that's going to be, it's going to work out all right. Because you've got a little bit of flex. You can probably just see sort of up and down, forward, backwards. 
so it should be okay. Right, I'll just get these cross member things made and see what happens. Okay, so <clears throat> what I've done is chop that. It's slightly wonky, um, but it lines up with the rigging. So I think that's, it depends which way you look at it, because the wings aren't straight with each other. So if you look at it that way, it's okay. Um, well, it's as good as the bit of PE was going to be. So yeah, all I need to do is get a bit of paint on that. Um, yeah, I think that'll do. Right, that's that one done. Hey. <sighs> so I thought before <clears throat> I assemble the second pair of wings, I'll just try fitting these on first in case there's any issues. And all I like to do was this bit here, the sort of bracing beam, which is very slightly too thick, like tall, tall wise. It was all right that way, but too high that way so I just had to sand a bit off that but also inside I'll have a look see if the other wings like it uh, yeah you can see the slot it goes into there there's a bit that goes on this bit here um, which has that slot in it which it goes through and that slot didn't quite line up with that so I had to just trim a little bit off of one of these so once that other part's on you can this bit overlaps the slot slightly and I just had to sort of get a knife in there and just trim it back a little bit and then popped it on I haven't glued it yet but given all the rigmarole of all the rigging and everything it fits together absolutely beautiful just got to close that up when I when I blow it, bottom's perfect. Really, really nice. <sighs> Taking shape. We're getting there. Uh, so that's all the rigging done. If you can see behind there, that is tricky, isn't it? That's it. And all I did was painted over it. I tried that. Um, panel line and stuff but <clears throat> that's enamel based and very thin and it, it just didn't do anything so I just got a little bit of gunmetal old favourite and just gently painted that on and that seems to make it look a bit like dirty wire which is about right uh, what else done the propellers so that's just primed and painted in black and then I did the old dunking trick so got my palette put a little bit of yellow in the right distance just dunk and let it dry that way you know they're all going to come out the same size and be straight yeah. my way of doing it uh, <laughs> so you've messed about the masking tape and stuff <coughs> so now not a lot to do really um there's this little bit went on just need to paint that a few little bits need touching up here and there but i'll wait till the end for that um oh the rigging on the on the plane itself so i did that in the silver as well got a little dab on there by mistake so i need to clean that up now i'm looking at it again that is really heavy weathering i'm sure they wouldn't have got quite that dirty but I like it and that's what matters in it so I'm gonna leave it I was gonna try and clean it up a bit more but nah I just like it that's all that matters so right get the wings on okay so we're getting there so as you can see the wings are on went on absolutely beautifully so just had to trim that little bit there but the other one given all the lining up 
all the margin of error that there could be getting these two lined up it just slots straight on no messing at all <clears throat> really happy with that and with my dodgy eyes looking down there it's all completely straight I think <laughs> um, stuck the chaps in quite happy with him he looks like he's sort of doing something this fella I've only put a tiny dab of glue on his feet just because I'm thinking he's far too jaunty so if I can find a better chap to replace him I can yank him out and replace him um, very little to do now it's just kind of wheels torpedo uh, propeller and then just go around touch it up clean it up here and there I've knocked one of the bits of PE out so I've just got to line that up and glue that back in but yeah almost there okay so get in there nearly done now um, and better late than never Sarah got me a little present today a book about the fairy swordfish string bag the fairy swordfish at war um, so I'm looking forward to having a little read of this I'm sure there's a few things in there that I might have been oh look some pictures that would have been hang, handy for doing the rigging <laughs> But you never know. I've enjoyed this one so much. You never know, I might do the Mark II. Because maybe, because recap, the reason I'm doing this is because this was on board Art Royal in 39 and my granddad was a rigger. And a bit later in the war, he was out in... Kenya and Singapore and a couple of other places where there just happened to be later variants so it's an excuse to maybe do a mark two but anyway thanks darling lovely book I shall have a good read of that um so I'm going to wrap this up for tonight and then just do a final reveal in a few days because I've run out of super glue and there's a couple of bits of rigging to finish off. So I can't do that tonight. Uh, the figures are in. The wings are on. Uh, just a couple of little bits to touch up here and there. Torpedoes on. Which it was a little bit fiddly lining it up. Um, but it's on. Just got a, It's very slightly crooked the way the brackets are. But that's my fault. I just didn't didn't line up properly when I when I made it. Um, thing would have been better if I'd have assembled that in situ, sort of on the aircraft rather than separately, because then I could have got it to line up with where it needs to sit. Um, but I'll know for next time. Uh, these little bits are on wheels, everything. That's kind of it. I don't think there's any more bits to stick on now. Propellers on. That's it. Where is it? Yeah, undercarriers. I'm pretty sure there's no other bits. But yeah, there's no point in hanging on until I get some super glue and just put those last little bits of rigging on. So, yeah, I'm going to call it a day. Um, so this is part four, isn't it? I'm losing track. So that's that done. Absolutely loved it. It's been crikey. It's taken a good few weeks. Um, so much so that my thumb's healed up now completely. <sighs> Weird. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a cracking kit and you lot have been brilliant with your suggestions and hints and tips and things along the way so thanks again uh, of course big thanks to John for sending me in the first place and for all all his words of wisdom 
Uh, yeah, lovely kit, lovely subject, went together beautifully. The mistakes were down to me, um, except for that thing with the paint, don't know what happened there, but I've splashed loads of mud over it, that, that's got rid of that. That's what you do with tanks normally, but I really like how this has come out. It's a great big thing, isn't it? Massive, great lump. It's heavy as well. Substantial bit of weight in there. Um, okay, enough waffling for me. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll just do a brief um, reveal in a few days when it's all done. And uh, I've got the last little bits of rigging on. Yeah, right, okay, I'll shut up. See you next time. Bye.